Azad. Morgan's not here. So what was Amadeo guarding? Perhaps the cabin itself. Or something it contains? The portrait and the note are still here. But even so, I don't understand why Juan would have written such a note to Morgan. Unless... Just as I thought, the handwriting is completely different. So Juan didn't write that threatening note after all. Who could it have been? Could it be Senor Guzman? Hmm, probably not. It's usually doctors that have bad handwriting, not bank managers. Maybe one of the crew. No, they're far too loyal for their own good. What about Vasco? Or one of the other town people? Oh, let's face it, I'm grasping at straws here. Now, Chevier's a possibility. He was Juan's guardian for a while, after all. Perhaps he bears a grudge. I'll keep him on my list of possibles. Diablo never does anything without one eye say so. One eye was very interested when I talked about Morgan and Juan. Perhaps a little too interested. Is there anyone else who could be so nasty? I need some proof. This is powerful evidence. I've got to take it with me. Steady, Amadeo. It's only me. Sonny, did you see the skull? He came to life. I need to use the privy. Can I ask you some questions first? Will, will you check the skull is gone? Sorry, Amadeo. I fixed the skull. I put fireflies into its eyes. Why would you do that? I only have one pair of pants. One eye's up to something that involves the whole island, and I needed to talk to Morgan. She's not in her cabin. I know. Uh, listen, why would someone write a threatening note to Morgan? I have no idea. Can I see the note? Look here. I think it might be from One Eye. Oh, it's awful to threaten the captain that way. But the note could be from anybody. You, you can't accuse someone as powerful as One Eye without better evidence. You're right. I'll prove the note came from him. The handwriting is the same on both of these. The threatening note was definitely sent by One Eye. Combining these two pieces of paper gives me the evidence I need. I should find out what made him write it, but I can't ask him directly. He'd probably get Diablo to kill me. On the other hand, this evidence could convince some people to help me. Compare the handwriting on both of these. You're right! This proves one I sent that note to the captain. But what does it mean? I have no idea. Uh, perhaps you should ask someone who works for him. I can't ask Diablo. Others work for him too. Of course! Bajari works for him! Thanks, Amadeo!
Take a look at this, Chief. Compare the handwriting. Yes. The handwriting's the same. But I don't understand. It proves that One Eye sent a threatening note to Morgan. Why would he do that? I don't know. Morgan has hated One Eye as long as I can remember. But I have no idea what caused her animosity. Aside from the obvious. Will you help me at least? Please? Very well. I shall answer your questions. But if my people become endangered as a result, I will deliver you to one eye myself. That sounds more like the voice of a chief. Where does Juan fit into this? He's had a thing for Morgan since they were teenagers. But she's not interested. Also, people haven't trusted him since he and one eye banned the shark racing years ago. Why would one eye be afraid of Max? Max? Who's Max? He's a cute little animal I befriended when I arrived here. He looks like a cross between a dog and a small bear. I think you must be mistaken. There are no such animals on this island. Are you sure you aren't seeing things? I don't think so. I need to find where Max is gone. Hi, Nacho. Sonny! I hear you've been having yourself some wild adventures. <laughs> you could say that. I'm actually surprised to see you again. I thought you'd be lying low. I am. But I happen to know that tonight Morgane's out on patrol. How do you know she won't come in here? <laughs> she never lets her men drink on patrol nights. Do you know where I might find a sick animal? Why would you want to find a sick animal? Because I need to help him. He's about the size of a dog, but he looks a bit like a bear, too. Thick brown fur and a bushy tail. <laughs> Sounds like the sort of thing I see when I'm drunk. Oh, you haven't seen him, then. There are no animals on the island bigger than rodents. What about the dogs and cats I've seen? And cows? They're not animals. They're pets. Can you tell me why there's bad blood between One Eye and Morgan? No. It must be something that happened a long time ago. Could be some kind of pirate rivalry. Isn't there a pirate code for those kinds of things? You expect One Eye to stick to the pirate code? I've got to go. Vasco, how's it going? Oh. The cappuccinos are very popular, thank you. Cool. What can you tell me about the animosity between Morgan and One-Eye? All I know is that Morgan is the only one who can stand up to One-Eye without being thrown into the pit. That's interesting. Um, have you seen an animal that looks a bit like a dog crossed with a small bear? <laughs> is this a trick question? Of course not. I need to find him. I think he's ill. Maybe there are parts of the island I haven't visited, but uh, I've never seen an animal like that. Hello, Sancha. Do you know anything about One Eye? Only that it's best not to talk about him. I heard that something dreadful happened between him and Morgan. They had a disagreement a long time ago. But no one has found out the reason. It must have been pretty bad. Morgan still acts like she's got a hornet up her ass. Have you seen an animal the size of a dog with thick fur and a bushy tail? Does it look a little like a bear? Yes. You know it? Saints preserve us! Has anyone else seen the animal? No. It must be shy. <gasps> It must be at the bay, the spirit of the island. It 
only ever seen by those it allows to do so. It's a great honor he's bestowed on you, Sonny. I... I'm afraid he's dying. Oh! No! If Adabi is so choosy, why did he let one eye see him? Did he do it to protect me? Even you're not that special. There must be another reason. Gee, you sure know how to make a girl feel good. Does anyone else have information about the island spirit? Visit Chairman the Voodoo Chief. Spirits and arcane matters are his speciality. Thanks. Bye. What's wrong with him? Blood? This is terrible! What if Max is dying? I like this. How many TV shows have I seen where the beautiful blonde is jogging alone at night in Central Park and the next day her dismembered body is discovered? You creepy! That spoon alone. Hi, Chairman. Inaru Karaya, how are you tonight? I need some information about One Eye and Morgan. Crossing One Eye has a tendency to get a person killed, or at least put into the pit. Something is going on between the two of them, and I mean to get to the bottom of it. Powerful magic is at work, and we shouldn't interfere. What do you know about Max? I mean, Adabe. The island spirit protects us all. He's ill, and maybe dying. Can you do anything to help? To help, I must find the cause of his sickness. How can I do this, when he never reveals himself to me? Can you at least tell me where to find the spirit creature? Only the worthy ever get to visit him. I must try. I'm his only chance. On the far side of the jungle, you will find Ku, the old ruins. Inside, the Mabuya protect Atabe from the unworthy. Who are the Mabuya? Ghosts who have dedicated their afterlife to the service of the island spirit. Real ghosts? <laughs> of course! It's not a task to be undertaken by the faint-hearted. Real ghosts. Well, whatever it takes to help Max. Bye.